Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a syncing issue on your Windows 10 device. So if for some reason the Windows sync might be locked out of the system or it's not available for your account, and you might be prompted with a message that says contact your system administrator to resolve this error message. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just stuff we're going to start button one time. Type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and then select front as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, like always, I would suggest creating a backup so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab. Select Export. For Export Range, I would select All. And File Name, I would normally suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Save it to convenient location on your computer and then just select Save. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select the File and then Import combination and navigate to the file location that way. Very straightforward process in my opinion. And now we are ready to begin and we're going to start by expanding the HKEY local machine folder. So go ahead and just double click on that. Double click on the software folder under that. And now locate the Microsoft folder right here. Double click on that. Should be a Windows folder if you scroll down a little bit. And we can see that one right here. Double click on that. Should be a current version folder. Double click on that one like we've done before. And now look for policies and double click on that. And finally, there should be a system folder underneath of that. Go ahead and just left click on that. So I would suggest if you need to pause the video at this time and take note of the file path on the top of the screen here, you can see each backslash indicates a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So definitely a good time to pause the video if you need to do so and just take note of the file path and then just resume the video once you're up to this point. So assuming you are up to speed, we're going to go ahead and now right click in a blank area on the right side of our registry editor screen here, so the blank panel. And you want to right click inside of here, select new, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this value no connected user as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. So again, this is if you do not have the value in here. If you do have the value, you might say that it already exists. Don't worry, we're going to get to that in a second here. So we just created it because we do not have this value. If you did have the value, we're going to address that in a second. Just want to point out the spelling. It's no, capital N and no, capital C in connected, and capital U in user. No spaces in between any of these words. And now you want to double click on this value. Make sure value data is set to zero. So if there's any other numbers in here, delete them. Type the number zero, so don't spell it out. Just type the number zero, and then select OK. And once you're done with that, you can just close out of the registry editor. And you should also no longer notice that sync is not available on your account. So that error message should be cleared up. And we're just going to go minimize out of all that. And that's pretty much it guys so as always thank you for watching i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye